So today we are going to start with the kinematic equations of motion. When we say motion, lahat ng paggalaw. So the, the motion of a bird while it's flying, motion of a train while it's moving, motion of a, of a ball. Yan, kapag kasinipa pataas, paano yung motion niya? Uh, lahat ng klase ng motion. But of course, for our discussions, we are going to focus on the motion that are related with the, the, the observable motion, hindi yung microscopic motion, okay? Para mas ma-visualize natin. Okay, so in the study of motion, we have two categories of, of the, the studies. Number one is kinematics and number two is dynamics. So when we focus on kinematics, we have uh, different uh, types of motion that we're going to study. Number one is one-dimensional. Number two is two or three-dimensional. So in kinematics, we are describing the motion of objects of or a certain body in terms of its displacement, velocity, and acceleration. So those are the three quantities that we're going to discuss uh, in order to uh, study the kinematics. Eto, take note. While we are studying the displacement, velocity, and acceleration of an object, in kinematics, we're not going to consider the forces that cause the motion. Halimbawa, gumalaw yung bola kasi sinipa, so lumipad. Yung i-study lang natin doon, yung displacement ng bola, yung velocity ng bola, yung acceleration ng bola, at hindi natin i-study kung ano yung amount ng force para ma-produce yung ganong klase ng motion. So ulitin natin, we'll just focus on its displacement, on its velocity, or on its acceleration. For 1D motion, this is concerned with the straight line motion of objects, particularly in the x-axis. So this is also called translation. For example, uh, we have the movement of a train. Another example, itong bata na lalaki, tumatakbo in a certain direction, uh, one, one D motion pa rin siya kasi nasa ground. Pero, kapag ka nag-shoot ng bola, for example, basketball, nag-shoot, meron siyang meron siyang motion, parabolic motion. So, starting from this point, lumipad papunta dito. For one D motion, isang dimension lang siya. So, pag sa ating Ayan. Okay. Pag 1D motion, limbawa ito, nag-start, yung tao, nagmupapunta doon, x-axis lang siya. Rocket. O, rocket. Tumaas. So, nasa y. Y-axis lang siya. Isang, isang axis lang. So, that is 1D. Both are 1D. But, if you're dealing with this one, make a Cartesian plane, x-axis, y-axis, ano ang nakocover? ba? Habang tumataas, lumilipat papuntang, papuntang negative so, x. So, y is covered at the same time, negative x is covered. So, these are the dimensions. X and Y dimensions are covered at the same time. That's why it is 2D motion. We focus with uh, one-dimensional motion for our discussion. In one-dimensional motion, we are considering the following. Number one, distance and displacement. These are commonly interchanged uh, terms, terminologies, but they are actually different. Now, what is the difference between distance and displacement? Pag si distance class, length of the actual path. Halimbawa, nag-start ka dito, punta ka doon. Punta ka dito, yan, punta ka doon, then bumalik ka. Let's say 10 meters, then 10 meters, 10 meters, and then 10 meters. So yung distance ay gaano kahaba yung 
3 novel mo. 10 meters, 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. So, overall, we have 40 meters. Okay. Displacement, ang kinoconsider mo dito ay initial point, initial point, at saka final point. Halimbawa, starting from this point, nag-travel ka papunta dito. And then, bumalik ka sa pinanggalingan mo. Ano yung displacement mo? O ano yung initial point mo? Nasa zero ka. Pumunta ka doon, then bumalik ka. Ano yung final point mo? Nasa zero ka. Ibig sabihin, ang displacement mo ay zero. Kasi, ang kinoconsider mo dito ay change in position. Doon sa yung motion, pumunta ka, then bumalik ka sa pinanggalingan mo, wala kang change ng position. Kasi, parehas ang initial position mo doon sa final position. That is your displacement. Okay, another example. Ito yung starting point mo. Pumunta ka doon, 5 meters. Ano ang, ano ang distance mo? 5 meters. That's correct. Ano ang displacement mo? O oh, hindi sure. Nagbago ba yung position mo? Wala pa po. Nagbago na ba yung position no, mo? Sir. From 1 to 2? Hindi pa po. Hindi ba nagbago yung position mo? Eto ka. Pumunta ka nagbago, sa number 2. Ayan. So, nagbago. From 1 to 2. So, anong displacement mo? 5 meters. Parehas five din meters. na 5 meters. So, your distance is the, the same with your displacement in this scenario. Ngayon, pumunta ka doon. Ang total ay 10 meters. So, from 1 to 2 to 3. Ano ang distance mo from 1 to 2 to 3? 15, sir. That's correct. Distance is 15 meters. Ano ang displacement mo? 15 pa rin, sir. 15 That's meters. correct. Bakit? Kasi, sabi ko nga kanina, nag-change in mode. Change in position. So, ito yung initial position mo, ito yung final position mo, so parehas sa yung distance. So, 5 plus 10 Ito ngayon, ay, 15, sorry. Ito ngayon, bumalik ka. Bumalik ka doon Subtract. sa number 2. So, magsusubtract ka. So, ito ang tanong. Una, ano ang distance mo noong from 1 to 2 to 3, papunta sa 2, pabalik sa 2? Ano ang distance mo? 25 meter. 25, that's correct. 5, sir. Bakit, Mr. Eslava? Sir, kasi nadagdagan yung distance na pinuntahan niya, sir. Okay. Ang next ngayon, thank you, that's correct, very good. Displacement. Ano ang displacement niya? 5 meters, sir. 5 meters. Bakit 5 meters? Kasi yun lang ang kinalayo niya from the phone, from his initial point. Sir. That's correct. Remember class, sabi ko kanina, ang displacement, i-consider mo lang ang initial position at saka kanyang final position. So, ano ang initial niya? Ito. At yung final niya ay, andito siya. So, kahit saan pumunta, basta initial and final kapag ka-displacement. So, gaano kalayo yung final position mula sa kanyang initial position? Ito siya which is 5 meters. So, that's distance and displacement. To compute for the change in displacement, we're going to use the, the formula df minus di. Now, this formula just means that uh, we only consider, when we talk about displacement, we only consider the final and the initial position. So, for example, we have two points here. Merong path. Okay, so ang trinavel niya ay punta dyan. So, nag-curve, curve, curve, curve. Zigzag. 
So, yung distance niya, gaano ka haba yung actual path, which is uh, represented by the white uh, dashed lines. For the displacement, inuulit natin, initial and final. So, that will be a straight arrow from the initial going to the final position. I-mark natin yung white line. Anong ibig sabihin, Ms. Pascual? It is the distance po. It is the distance. Yun yung distance. How about yung yellow? Mr. Salviejo? Displacement, sir. That's correct. We have the displacement. Mapapansin ninyo, sir, bakit may half arrow sa taas? Kapag may half arrow, ibig sabihin niyan, ito ay isang vector. And this one is D, therefore, this one is displacement. Pagka-distance, D lang. So, lahat ng may half arrow sa taas, ibig sabihin niyan ay vector. Example, use the diagram to determine the resulting displacement and the distance traveled by the skier during this three minutes. Etong skier natin, from A to B to C to D. At ang total na na-travel niya ay three minutes. After one minute, nakatravel siya ng ganyan kalayo. After one minute, na-travel niya from B to C. And after one minute, travel niya from C to D. Ang tinatanong ay, number one, distance, and the other is displacement. Distance is D, displacement is, ayan, with an arrow, half arrow. Anong total distance from A to D? 180, sir. 180. See, note natin sa taas. Sa distance, sabi natin kanina, yung length ng actual path. So, from A to B, from A to B, anong total distance niya? A to B? We have 40 plus 100 plus 40. That's correct. We have 180 meters. From B to C, 140, 40 plus 100. So, from B to C, our distance is 140 meters. That's correct. And from C to D, 100. C to D, 100. ito, papunta doon, we have 100. So, ano yung total distance? 420. pag add lang natin, we have 420, 420 meters. meters. That's correct. This is our distance. Total distance. Pwede maglagay ng sub capital letter T doon, uh, meaning this is the total distance. So, 420 meters. It's a scalar quantity. That is why we don't need to indicate the direction. Only the magnitude and the appropriate unit. So, from our computation here, what we actually did was, ayan, para ma mas maayos natin yung kanyang formula, eto, from A to B, we can name that as D1. D1, D2, and D3. So, D1 plus D2 plus D3. Kapag may iba pang mga distances, and so on, we have D sub N. Ayan. Now, let's proceed to the displacement of the skier. Ano yung displacement niya? Sir, 140 po kasi from the point of origin, which is 0, at saka hanggang sa D po. Saan yung point of plus, origin? At A, B, or C, or D? Sir, yung point of origin po is dito po banda sa letter A po. Letter Tapos A. Yung, Pinakadulo po, sir, letter D. Kaya kapag pinag-add po natin yung 40 and 100, it will be 140, sir, for the displacement. That's correct. Precisely, just like what we have mentioned a while back, initial and final. I 
and F. Gaano kalayo? 40 meters plus 100 meters displacement. Its magnitude will be 40 plus 100. That's 140 meters. And because it's a vector, it's, it is displacement, we consider its uh, direction going to the east. Going to the east. So 140 meter east. Sir, do we have a more logical way of solving for the displacement? Just like what we did for distance? Because sometimes, what if we don't have a diagram? Okay, so, pwede natin gamitin yung idea ngayon ng ating Cartesian plane or the uh, signs, negative or positive. Okay, so we assign a positive direction, then we assign the negative direction. So, in our convention, yung pinag-agrihan natin, east, west, north, and south. So, pagka-east, positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Pagka-papuntang west? Negative. 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 Pagka-papuntang north? Positive. 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 Papuntang positive. south? Negative. 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 Okay. Since nasa x-axis lang tayo, meaning east to west or west to east, isa lang dimension ang uh, tinatakel natin. So, from A to A to B, paano natin kukompute yan yung displacement? Displacement will be equal to displacement 1 plus displacement 2 plus displacement 3. And we put a capital letter T there. Displacement 1 is from A to B. That is equal to 40 plus 100 plus 40, 180 meters. But we need to put its sign to indicate its direction. Is it positive or negative? Positive, sir. Positive 180 because it's going to the east. Okay, so positive 180. Kung gumamit ka ng positive or negative to indicate its direction, you don't need to use east or west. If you will use east or west, you don't need to indicate positive or negative. Nakuha? Yes, sir. Okay. Plus D2. Our D2 negative. is from B to C. That negative. is, pabalik na siya. So, negative. Plus negative 140 meters. Okay. Plus D3. Ano ang ating D3? 100. 100. 100 because from C to D. Ano ang sign? Positive. Positive, positive 100. We need to indicate wow. the positive sign there. So, positive 100. That will be equal to 180 plus negative 140 plus 100. That is equal to? 140. Positive 140 meters. Positive. Or, if you want to use... The direction, we have east. Ito naman, speed versus velocity. Ano naman ang pinagkaiba ng speed and velocity? Sir, speed is about how fast you are going. It doesn't matter about your direction. When, meanwhile, in velocity, it uh, uh, dire direction matters and combine that to speed. Okay, that's correct. When we are focusing on speed, we only focus on its the magnitude of how fast an object is traveling, regardless of its direction. So kahit papalikuliko yan, ayan, nag-drift man yan, papuntang east or west, okay? walang pakialam. Basta ang pakialaman mo, gaano kabilis. Yun lang yun, speed. Pag sa velocity naman class, it's very important to take note of the direction of the motion. So that is velocity. When we put that into numbers, how do we now compute 
how do we uh, determine the speed and velocity of a certain object? So, we now have the following equations. Number one is, speed is equal to distance all over time. So, this is speed. Wala siyang half arrow. Distance e, and then time. Next, velocity is, is equal to displacement all over time. So, pagka yung distance ng isang gumagalaw na bagay, let's say a car, let's say galing siya dito, ito yung starting point niya, punta dyan, 20 meters, the motion happened within 1 second. Then, pupunta dito, same, 20 meters, within 1 second. Ngayon, ano yung kanyang speed? To get the, 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 the speed of the vehicle, you need the distance. Meaning, how long is the path taken? So, 20. distance is 20 meters plus 20 plus meters is equal to 40 meters. Time is 2 seconds. seconds. Two. So, speed is equal to displacement, a distance over time. Distance is 40 meters all over 2 seconds. That is equal to? 20 meters per second. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 meters per second. But, given the same scenario, 20, then 20, 20 meters, within 1 second, within 1 second, Ano yung kanyang displacement? Ito ngayon ang tanong. Uh, 20 meters per second going to northeast. Going to northeast. So, how, how, how would you determine that? Pagka velocity class, ang focus natin ay displacement, di ba? So, we need to determine first the displacement of the object, of the car. Straight line from the point of origin, papunta sa tip. O, so, meron na naman tayong right triangle dyan. Ito ang sabi ko kung bakit mahalaga na alam ninyo ang pag-add ng vectors. So, we consider this as vectors already. So, this will be the displacement. In order to get the displacement, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. The square root of 20 meters squared plus 20 meters squared. Ayan, 28 meters. Okay, so meron na tayong displacement. So, we can now use the formula. Velocity is equal to displacement is 28 meters going north east. Kasi pantay ng side. All over time is 2 seconds. Anong magiging velocity? 14, 14 meters per second. 14 meters per second. North. We have 14 meters per, per second. North east. Second. North of east. North of east. Now we proceed with acceleration. So, for acceleration, this is the rate of change in velocity. Gaano kabilis magbago yung velocity ng isang bagay? Halimbawa, starting from this point, ito yung path. Meron tayong car dyan. Ayan. Okay. Punta doon. 5 meters per second. At this point, nag-increase. So, naging 7 meters per second. So, nagbago ng velocity. Ang describe ng acceleration ay kung ano yung rate ng pagbabago niya in a certain period of time. Ngayon, ano yung conditions para masabi natin na yung isang bagay ay nag accelerate or not? The first condition is that the magnitude of the velocity should be changing. Change in direction, change in magnitude, and change in both 
magnitude and direction. So, these are the three criteria para masabi natin na may acceleration. So, the formula will be acceleration is equal to change in velocity all over change in time. Or we can say that acceleration is equal to since there is change here, we consider the final and initial. Final velocity minus initial velocity. That is change all over time. So, dito, sabihin natin kung decelerating or accelerating. So, meron tayong apat na senaryo. Si letter A, yung paggalaw niya, yung velocity niya ay papuntang east. At yung acceleration niya ay papuntang east din. Therefore, nag speed up siya, positive acceleration. Bakit positive? Because of the direction of the acceleration. It's directed towards the Kasi east. east. Uh, that's correct. And it's also speeding up, bumibilis. Letter B, yung kanyang velocity ay papuntang east, pero yung acceleration niya ay papuntang opposite direction. Meaning, yun ay nag slow down, negative acceleration, in other words, we call that deceleration or decelerating. Paano magkakaroon ng ganito? Halimbawa, nag-step ka ng brake. So, ito yung direction ng car. Pag nag-step ka ng brake, meaning pipigilan mo siya para pipigilan, mag-exert ka ng effort in the opposite direction. So, your acceleration is actually directed towards the opposite direction. Opposite the direction of the velocity. So, that is negative acceleration because it's going to the negative x-axis. For the third scenario, it is slowing down, positive acceleration, and decelerating. Bakit slowing down? Papuntang west yung car, yung velocity niya, yung acceleration mo ay papuntang east. So, nag-brake ka dito. Opposite. So, babagal ka, slowing down, but you have a positive acceleration because you are going to the positive x-axis. This one is deceleration. Last one, papuntang west yung acceleration and velocity. So, speeding up, negative acceleration. Sample problem number one. Pakibasa ang problem. Acceleration of a car if it changes velocity from 20 meters per second to 50 meters per second in 20 seconds. In 20 seconds. Now, our problem is, ano yung acceleration? For our format later on, we're going to follow the GSA format in solving problems para maayos. Ano yung G? Given. That's correct. Given. Solution and answer. We have Solution the... Solution and answer. Solution, then the answer. Or it can be vertical, given, solution dito, then answer sa baba. Okay, ano ang given quantities natin? Uh, 20 meters per second, 50, 50 meters, meters per, per second, second, 20 seconds. Second. Now, we need to give... The notations, the proper notations. Ano ba ang 20? Ano ba si 50? Ano ba si 20? Ano ba si 20? Initial at final. Initial, sir. Initial, ito. Initial, Initial velocity. velocity. Para ma-differentiate siya sa final, we're going to use sub i. V sub i. And then our final is 50 meters per second. Our time is 20 seconds. So, for our solution, we write first the formula. Acceleration is equal to Vf minus Vi minus Vi over time. All over time. So, Vf is 50 meters per 50 second. 50 meters per second minus 20 meters per second. 20 meters per second. All over 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Acceleration is equal to? 1.5. Ah, uh, no? 1.5. I-expand pa natin? 
Uh, I mean, simplify. 30 meters per second. Meters per second. Lower. Or, or 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Ayan. So, so S times S is? Hindi tayo magka-cancel, di ba? S squared. S squared. Kasi S is squared. So, acceleration will be? 1.5 meters 1. per second squared. 1.5 meters per meters second per squared. Second this is yeah, approximately 2 meters, 2 per, meters second per second squared. Ito yung ating final answer. So our final answer for the acceleration will be 2 meters per squared second. Last problem. Pakibasa mo nga, Mr. Duntugan. A race car decelerates at 10 meters per second squared. What time will it take for the car to stop if it is going at 50 meters quick, 50 meters per second? Ano yung given natin, uh, Mr. Ramos? 10 ms squared. 10, 10 meters per squared second. Ano to? Deceleration, sir. Deceleration or we have the acceleration. Next one, we have 50 meters per second. Ito yung starting position. Magde-decelerate ka daw. Ibig sabihin ng deceleration, babagal hanggang mag-stop. So, you are moving at 50 meters per second and you're going to stop. The, the rate of the stopping or the rate of the decrease in velocity is 10 meters per squared second. Meaning, yung initial mo na 50 meters per second, magbabawas ka ng 10 meters per second bawat segundo. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng 10 meters per second squared. So, ang tanong dito, Gaano katagal, ilang segundo bago ka mag-stop given our deceleration here. Okay? So our initial velocity is 50 meters per second. So this will be our initial. Our final velocity is, how will we determine that? So your final velocity when you stop is what? Zero. That is zero, zero. meter per second. So, 0 meter per second. Our problem is time. So, your formula is Vf minus Vi all over time. But you want to find T. Pwede mong i-derive muna dito. Yan ay T. So, v, uh, sorry, Vf minus Vi. Divide both sides by A. Divide both sides by A. So, cancel. Now, you have T. Or, you can substitute the values. Later ka na lang mag-derive. But since na-derive na natin, we're going to use that formula. T is equal to? Ano ang VF? Zero, sir. Zero, zero meter per second minus VI. 50 meters per second. 50 meters per second. 50 meters per second. All over, acceleration is? 10 meters per second square. 10 meters per second square. But, yun ay deceleration. So, negative siya. Negative. So, negative 10 meters per second squared. So, time is equal to uh, negative 50 meters per second divided by negative 10 meters per second squared. Uh, negative 50 divided by negative 10, that is positive 5. Cancel meter, and then meter, second, second, may na isa pang second. Now you have time.